Hi everyone. I just want to go through um, how to play Dream Peace Mud, and I'm gonna walk through a uh, character creation for everyone here. And uh, we're gonna start out with the name here. Uh, by what name do you wish to be known? I wish to be known as Seventh. And did I get it right, Seventh? And yes, here. So it's new character, give me a password. Uh, for the sake of this, I'm just going to put password one, two, three. And password one, two, three. So here, um, you get to pick a race. So you can type help for more information. And then here we go. We got the human race, the standard race. It costs zero creation points. The dwarf, wise warriors, and priests cost 8 creation points. Elf, sneaky kid, thieves, and mages cost 5 creation points. Giant, huge, tough warriors cost 6 creation points. Esper, small magical spellcasters cost 8 creation points. Got the drake, uh, intelligent and strong-tailed fighters cost 10 creation points. Ghoul, fast and durable. Undead race costs 7 creation points. Orc, quick and deadly fighters costs 5 creation points. Half elf, not fond of clerics and necromancers costs 4 creation points. Throw, excellent casters that can meld away costs 10 creation points. Enku, bird race, fast deadly dragoons costs 7 creation points. Centaur, man horse, decent caster and fighters cost 6 creation points. Hobbit, pudgy sneaky halflings, great thieves cost 5 creation points. Ogre, unintelligent but tanky fighters cost 4 creation points. So basically uh, picking a race may or may not uh, allow you to pick certain classes later. So. And also, uh, creation points um, makes it a little bit harder for you to get experience. So it increases the amount of experience it takes to gain a level. So certain classes like Drake and Dro, they get extra powerful little abilities, racials that can help them. Uh, so with those special powers comes a higher cost at leveling up. Uh, the easiest to level character would be humans. They are basically they have access to all the classes and so you can do whatever you want with them. So they're pretty basic. And so for, for our purposes today, I think I'm um, probably going to go with doing something a little bit more fun here. We're going to make a ghoul. Uh, here it asks for your sex, male, female. I'm just going to make myself a male. And we're going to do something on here. A ghoul necromancer. Ah, good neutral evil. This is your alignment. So alignment um, gives you access to different like gear. Uh, so if you're good... Sometimes you can't get a wear gear that it requires you to have a like an evil alignment. So uh, generally, you kind of just it's kind of like a RP thing. But I'm gonna make myself a really weird good necromancer. So I asked you, do you wish to customize this character? Uh, customization takes time, but allows a wider range of skills and abilities. So we're going to say yes, so I can show you guys how customization works. So you get a list of different groups of skills and uh, individual skills as well. Um, what you can do here is get more information. Uh, if you pick the Necromancer default, uh, it costs 40 creation points. It's basically uh, the package you get if you chose to just say, um, no customization. It, um, 
Let's see if that works here. So this is the Necromancer default. You basically get the different spell groups there. Um, what, what you can do is things like, uh, we'll, we'll add the Necromancer default here. Oops. And then you can type list to reshow all the choices you have here. So right now, it would take me 1,350 experience per level. Um, you can, you notice uh, it grabbed most of the groupings at the top. Uh, there's certain things, skills you might want to add to it, like uh, there's things like backstab, strong uh, melee. Uh, you can add things like parry, uh, add lore, and if you need um, information on any of these, you can type like help lore and it tells you what the skill is used for. It's a general skill. Uh, you could do like help parry. And this helps you kind of choose what you want um, to customize your character. But when you type a uh, list, notice that the experience per level is getting uh, more and more. Uh, what you could do is drop something that you didn't want early on. You drop parry, drop uh, lore, um, things like that. So we're back to 1,550. So don't worry if you cannot uh, grab everything you want. Um, generally, you want to keep your experience per level low. Uh, I say maybe around, uh, if this is your first mud ever uh, getting experience per level uh, under 2000 is probably best um, for here uh, like you don't have to worry because later on there's ways to um, learn these that you don't pick up um, so it's not a big deal um, we'll just go here we're done so once we're done it says pick a weapon dagger it is so here's the rules, the welcome to Dream Peace Mud. Uh, you can join our Discord for more info. If you're new, you type help newbie. And here you go. Um, right in the beginning, you're at the entrance to Mud School. This is the entrance to the Merc Mud School. Go north to go through Mud School. If you have been here before and want to go directly to Arena, go south. To the west is the entrance to Newbie Zone. To the east, the entrance to a zoo. Above looks to be an entrance to a famed ninja academy. And if you're new to MUDs, type help newbie. And right here, uh, you'll see there's a map. You get a kind of a map of um, where you are. This little yellow is where you are. The directions you can go, north, south, east, west. The little up arrow means you could go up or down from here. So, and you also have the exit showing northeast, west, up, down. And then uh, this is Remy, the Dream Peace Newbie Guide, stands here. So that's who's available. Um, you have this little board here. Uh, you can read notes from this board. Uh, so if, you, if you're ever curious on what to do, you can type help. Um, there's a hint channel here that will give you information. Uh, and you can turn this off. You can turn it off by uh, typing hint. I'll just turn it on off if it gets annoying. Um, but anyways, we're gonna go and pretend we're a brand new user here and type help newbie. And it says, look, it gives you all this information about what to do. Um, my recommendations are in the red color here. Setting auto on. Prompt all, scroll 100, and basically what this does is it, it allows um, allows you to get some uh, what what I felt is useful in the game. So you have all this here, uh, information, uh, newbie information telling you what to do, and more details here. So first thing uh, we're going to do is type auto all 
on. Basically, what that does is um, let's show you. Uh, so it automax automatically does uh, a lot of things like the auto list, auto loot. So when you kill uh, monsters, you get to loot their corpse automatically. Auto map, everything, auto gold, auto sacrifice, auto exit. Uh, it's a lot to take in. Uh, MUDs definitely is not that user friendly if you've never played it before. I have no idea how I learned how to do any of this when I was 12 years old, but basically it requires someone teaching you. And that's precisely what I'm trying to do here. Uh, I'm actually going to take off this hint channel for now. Uh, the next thing was to do prompt all. Uh, so right here you see uh, I have 20 HP, 100 mana, 145 movement points. Doing a prompt all. Uh, this is a setting that I like, and uh, I set it so that if you type prompt prompt all, you can get it in the same format. Uh, it tells you how much EXP to the next level. If you need more information, you could type help prompt to create your own. It will teach you how to do that. Um, one of the most important commands right now to start playing the game is uh, to type look or L. And it basically gives you the room description. And basically, it's kind of like a reading adventure. Um, so since we're at this part, we can type look sign. And it says, you may not pass these doors north uh, once you're level 5. Uh, Remy can help you if you type, say, I am a noob. Also can help you if you say, I need strength. So we'll go do that right now. So there's a lot of ways to talk in uh, MUDs. Um, you can type, say, or you can use this. Like, say, I am a noob. And basically, got some uh, potions and a little cool bag. Uh, to check your equipment, you can type U. Your inventory, you can hit I for your inventory. So, Let's, let's go on here and type the second thing, which is, I need strength. So what we're saying, I need strength, and Remy gave me some strength, and basically it's a buff. You get a bunch of affected spells. It's like a like an immortal buff type of thing. So you have Sanctuary, Frenzy, Bark Skin, Fly, all this good stuff. So Basically, on Dream Peace Mud, you can talk to Remy as long as you're level 20 and under and get this little boost. So this uh, helps speed things up here. So with that, uh, we're going to look here again. We see Remy's there. And we're going to go north to the, the Mud School. And we're going to go through it here. You can type north, south, east, west, uh, up, down. Or you can type N for short for north. And right here, we're in the room in Mud School. And every room has a sign. Uh, so it's good to read the signs, look sign, read signs. All of that's pretty good here. So to find your attributes, type score. So score shows you your attributes. And right here, right now, I am 7th, the Plague Master, level 1, 17 years old. Gives me all my info right here. It says out 5 practices and 3 training sessions. And those are pretty important here. So we're going to go west. Um, hit W. And this is the training room. So uh, you, can uh, you can type help train. Basically, training um, lets you train your strength and wiz, dex, con, HP, or mana. Uh, because um, HP is so important in this game, 
I, I highly recommend using your trains on HP first. It'll make your life so much easier. Uh, whereas like strength and with dex con, those help you gain more HP uh, per level or gain more stats per level. It basically um, these are the numbers, and you you normally want your in whiz and con always at the max it can be. Um, if you help your uh, race, I believe I set the maximums. And based on what class you choose, the class gives you a bonus to that. So it looks like uh, my int is hitting 25 when Ghoul's uh, max stat is 19. So uh, these are basically what um, gives you your mana per level, your HP gains per level. But with uh, the way Dream Peace Mud works, there's a um, equipment, the War Banner of Dream Peace, that helps you max those uh, important leveling uh, stats. So let me remove that and we go type score. You see now that my in and my um, stats have lowered. So to to make this more newbie friendly, uh, I created this war banner to help max those important stats while you level. So the player doesn't really have to worry too much about that. So, in uh, for the TLDR version, just train HP. Uh, that's the way it makes uh, the most sense, given that you have your um, attributes already maxed with the war banner. So right here we'll hit train HP. Uh, each HP train gives 10, um, 10 HP. So that's the max. We start out with three. You get more when you level. So right now I have 50 HP. We're gonna go east now and east again to the practice room. Uh, this is where you get to practice. Uh, there's a sign in the room. Hit look sign, and this is where it tells you how to practice. Um, if you just type practice or prac, it'll show you what you have available to um, uh, learn. So, right now, daggers are our main form of attack, uh, so we want to max that out. So, we'll hit prac dagger. So, now I'm learning at dagger. Uh, when you look at it, um, when you're learning that dagger, 75% is uh, when you're um, adequate at something. It can go all the way up to 100%, but uh, you just have to use the ability to get it higher and higher. So uh, the more you fight, the dagger will just automatically go up. Uh, next thing here, uh, we have a spell called Magic Missile. And we have another ability called Backstab. And then you got scrolls, staves, and wands. Gonna do this here. We'll do Magic Missile. Oh, learn that, that. Backstab. So, looks like Backstab needs one more go. So, we'll just go from here um so where if you look at the mini map here we went north and then we went um west and east so we'll go out here go back and we'll head north and then we look at the plaque oops not the plague plaque and it says oh and there's a sign too so this teaches us about equipment. So if you type uh, equipment fully or EQ, it shows what you're wearing. I kind of briefly showed you earlier. Uh, to pick up items from the ground, you can type get or take. Um, so say I have, uh, I dropped the map of Midgard. I look on the floor, you see a rolled map, uh, rolled up map is here. You take map and you can look at map and gives you a little information here about um, 
This is the city of Midgard where we are. Um, let's see. Let's look at the sign one more time. Uh, to you basically can wear items. All the wear will do it all. You can do wear all. Oh, it put on that little newbie bag, and you can see it's worn about the body. And then inventory shows what we're carrying. So once we're ready, it says continue west. So west we will go. And then this one shows uh, exits in all directions. We'll look at the sign here. Sometimes doors are closed. So exits um, will show you what's available. There's also a thing called scan. Scan will show who's around that are NPCs or players. Um, so you can do like scan north, scan east, and then exits will show the rooms around you. Uh, and also we have the exits like right here. And let's look at that sign again. So sometimes doors are locked, closed, or secret. So there are times where you don't see the exits, but you can go and to try to go to a direction. And then um, that direction might say it's locked or closed or whatnot. And then you can do uh, something like open north, to open the door north. So when you're done, go north. And then there's north and south. There's also a sign here. So score, uh, we, we went through this so we can go north. Score basically was that this right here and then now we're looking at the sign again uh, so combat training we want to use the con consider command or uh, con and it helps you uh, gauge how strong a monster is so sometimes you'll see easy kill um, even fight whatnot or death will thank you for a gift and uh, you want to make sure when before you attack something you don't feel comfortable to do a con. So it says, uh, lesson is running away. So he's too strong. You go down and then consider him, kill him, and then flee. So we're going to do that. Uh, it also says you can set a wimpy. So wimpy is an auto flee command. Uh, every time you level, uh, you can set your Wimpy. Uh, Wimpy 10. So at 10 hit points, you'll automatically try to flee. So we're going to go down the room and fight. We're going to hit D for down. So it's a blob. So right here, another sign. Look at the sign. It says don't you fight, don't kill. I mean, don't um, finish the fight this flee out so we're gonna look at we're gonna con the blob yep do you feel lucky punk maybe so we're gonna type kill blob so we're not hitting it so it's too strong for us for it so the thing is flee there we go so when you flee you lose some experience um so just be mindful but it's not a big deal. 10 experience is nothing. All right, so we're gonna go west now. And then there's a sign again. It says, welcome to the next station. Here you'll fight real monsters. So let's go down. Then here we go, another sign. It says, welcome to the cage room. Kill, 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 basically. So here it teaches you about corpses when you kill a monster, a corpse drops. But earlier on, I had you type uh, auto um, all, which automatically loots the corpse and sacrifices. So it basically just goes through all of this. Uh, let's see. 
So we're going to go here and start fighting. So now look here, there's exits on all four directions, north, south, east, west. I'll go north first. And there's a monster. Oh, killed it already. It was aggressive, so I didn't need to do anything. And it dropped loot. It dropped a pair of leggings and a belt so that we can wear all to wear it all. Then we're going to go south and we're going to go the next direction and we're going to kill this other monsters. Oh, and we hit a level. Nah, and basically we gained 11 hit points, 5 mana, and some practices. And then we got some more loot here. So in our inventory we got some more. We can go where all. So I'm going to repeat this for each. AM kill monster where all and south so KM monster we're gonna wear everything. Oh, notice that because I'm wearing uh, the newbie bag, that cape didn't go on. So when you wanna um, figure out what gear is better, you type comp cape. Uh, nothing comparable so that normally means uh because the bag is an item it's uh not the same as armor so they couldn't like make a good comparison let's see so we're gonna go down now so it's in uh, the next part uh there's a sign here so there's a uh, hungry thirst. So this game tries to give you some role play so you can get hungry and thirsty. And then, uh, so what you can do is go south and how you interact with uh, stores is you type list. So if there's a store, uh, there's a list of items. Uh, let's look at the sign. So there's buy, list, value, and sell. So in my inventory, I can do value, map, and it looks like <laughs> the NPC doesn't care about the map of City of Midgard, but does it care about the newbie bag? Nope, it doesn't. Oh, let's buy a water skin. Oh, also, um, to see how much money you have, you can type worth, I believe the command is, and or I normally type WO. Uh, you have zero gold, 36 silver, and 5,486 experience. So I just spent 24 silver to buy this uh, water skin, drink this skin, then first is quenched. All right, let's go back to it. So we go north. Um, earlier on, we read about how exits uh, may be hidden. So in this case, um, if we try to go east, there's a door. It says it's closed. So we do open door. Yep. And then now when you look at the room, the eastern exit shows up now. Whereas before, it was like a little closed door. We're going to go east from here. And then we're going to look at the sign. It says north is a dark room. Hope you have a lantern. If not, go back to store and buy one. Um, the little war banner I have is kind of a light. Um, that's about it. Uh, let's see. Sorry about that. Uh, so we're gonna go north. There's this big creature.
creature hulking over. So we're going to kill the creature. And then we're going to wear all. Uh, notice uh, it dropped the key. So basically over here, the, as I was talking about exits in the past, um, sometimes you'll see uh, not see them. Uh, we can open door. See, it says it's locked. So with the key, you can type unlock door, or you can type unlock east. And we're going to open door. So we look, and then now you see that there's a eastern area. And now we're at the end of the mud school. Now look at the sign here. It says, you graduated from mud school. Take your diploma if you can. Go north from here. Visit our arena. Plenty of low-level monsters. Don't attack other players. And then it teaches you about recall. So recall teleports you back to the temple. And it's important uh, if you get lost in muds. Uh, recall will get you right back to the town uh altar area uh, the temple and uh, from the recall is where all my directions in the game goes so uh, it's definitely important uh, there are times recall doesn't work and you're kind of out of luck um, there's no recall zones where when you're deep out in like um, some areas they are uh, places where you have to just figure your way out by walking through mazes. Uh, save, protect your character. Uh, there is auto saving, so saving isn't uh, necessary as much, but if you just got something really cool, I guess you can type save and uh, help and all that good stuff. All right, so we're going to look here the Diploma Beast. We're going to kill this beast to get our diploma. Uh, something I forgot to mention is uh, depending on how hard you hit, the, the wording of the damage changes. So my pierce wounds the diploma beast, 17, pierce injures, blah, 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 and scratches so this is the damage the green is what you're dealing the red is what they're dealing to you and with that we got our diploma and we can head on north uh the last thing i kind of want to share is uh remember we learned some um skills and we have the backstab skill and we have some spells um, but right now we only trained in magic missile and backstab so I just want to show you uh, backstab um, I'm gonna backstab the lizard right here oh I missed uh, you can also cast spells you can cast magic missile spell it right um, magic missile and at the snail so that's kind of uh, how you cast spells a magic missile grazes the snail for six and it's dead so you kind of continue on walk around and that's about it hope you enjoyed